Hi developers, it's Hussain Dilli, I'm Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to develop iOS applications using Xamarin. Exactly, we'll learn how to use UI Alert Controller in order to give to show a message to the user or ask him to choose a certain value or a certain configuration. So the application that we want to build today looks like this one here. Here, if I click at the first button, alert, it shows me this alert, and that's all. The second button, it shows me the alert, but I have the option to choose between accept or refuse. So if I choose accept, for example, you see that the, here I'm writing that uh, user choice. A third button here that does more than showing a simple alert. Here it gives me a certain range of values that I can choose from. So if I choose a color here, let's say green, then here it takes that uh, choice. So let's learn how to build this application using Xamarin. For that here, I use Xamarin Studio as my IDE to develop this application on iOS. Let's go to File and create a new solution. Here I choose iOS app, single view app. Hit next, then give our application a name. Let's call it alert controller app. Hit next to and create to uh, start uh, creating this application. So right here I go to the storyboard. From the storyboard, I'll go and disable the use of size classes. Disable it, yes. Then I go and choose the preview of my application as an iPhone 6 application. I can do that right from here. So iPhone 6 application. And now let's add our three buttons to display the three um, the three display alerts. So let's start by the first one. So let's add a button. I'll do drag and drop. Here it is, my first button. Let's make it bigger. Great. And let's call it simple alert. Good, now let's uh, double click this button so that we can create an event handler that will be executed in each time we click the button. Here you see when I double click at the button, here I'm redirected to the viewcontroller.cs and here I'm asked to, uh, to choose a location to paste my event handler. So let's uh, choose here, for example, hit enter, and then the code for the event handler is created for me. So here it is the code or the method. Now we'll um, put the code to show the simple message. So to create a simple message, we'll use the class UI controller or UI, UI alert controller. UI alert controller, so here it is. Then dot, we have the method create. The method create here, you see it takes three parameters. The first one is the title of your alert. That will be the text to, to be displayed at the top of the alert. Then we have a message which will display the details. And also we have the style for your uh, alert. So let's start by the first one. So let's give it uh, a name. Let's call it simply alert. Oops. And let's display a message saying that, for example, the background of my app is, um, uh, is white. A really simple value. Then the third parameter will be the style of my UI alert controller. Here I can use UI alert controller style dot and here we have the two options alert or action set. As I'm displaying a simple alert here I'll choose simply alert. Okay. 
after doing that you see that here the method uh, create uh, will return a UI alert controller for us so let's get that uh, instance let's call it alert now we need to display that alert inside our uh, application to do that we use show view controller and we pass the alert as a parameter Uh, you see that here uh, show view controller it takes some other options that we can put them as um, as null good now let's run our application and see it running in iOS So I'm gonna click the button and here it is our simple alert great so now let's add some actions to this alert let's add for example the, uh, the accept and refuse actions to do that I'll go back to the storyboard and create a new button I'll do the same here look for the button control paste it here Make it bigger and right inside it. Alert with actions. Double click to generate that event handler again. Paste it here. And now I'll use the same code as I have used for displaying the simple alert. So I'll copy and paste it here. But now I'll add the actions. For that, I'll do, go and do uh, alert dot add action. And here you see I can create another action as the add action method takes a parameter of type UI alert action. So let's create that UI alert action by calling the method create and here the create method takes those parameters title style and event handler so let's specify the first parameter which will be our title so this uh, as we want to display refuse then and the second parameter our style so UI alert action style dot let's put it uh, default then we'll, we'll add an event handler so let's add an event handler here and the license helps me to uh, define the event handler so I'll choose this uh, second one displayed here and then define my uh, event handler so the event handler here will be executed whenever I choose the refuse uh, action and here when I choose the refuse action I'll do and get that value and display it, display it inside um, a label so let's add a label to our storyboard I'll go and add a label add it here give it a name so that we can access it from our uh, view controller let's call it my label let's now come back here and then access my label dot text the text here is the action chosen by the user which is the refuse so let's say that the choice is refuse that's great now let's add another alert for the second action which is the accept so let's paste it here and instead of refuse now we'll use 
accept accept as the choice now let's run this app and see it in action click the button and here we have this alert now displaying the two uh, options for refusing or accepting so if I click accept here you see that uh, the label displays the value that I have chosen here the label doesn't display all the value and that's a common error or a common problem and when working with the storyboard to fix it you just need to go here and make your label um, displays um, with a wide um, value so now if I rerun the app hit the alert with actions click accept here you see it displays that value so that's great now let's add our third button which will display an alert with much more options so I'll go and add a button our second button or our third button actually here we'll add the text to be displayed uh, instead of showing the default button text here I'll show alert with um, different actions great now let's make our button bigger so that it can display the text inside of it double click the button and here add our third event handler which will be executed or run it and each time I click that third button the same here I'll go and choose the same code for uh, for my second button for that I'll go and copy it and here I'll go and make some modifications so here because uh, we are not displaying an alert anymore because we, here we are asking the user for an input or for to choose a certain value of uh, between a range of values here it's not anymore an alert but it's an action sheet and here we are asking the user to make an action so it's an action sheet and the buttons will be displayed in, uh, in vertical and not anymore in horizontal as we saw with the accept and refuse uh, actions so now let's change these actions let's say for example uh, now that it displays that the background is uh, white but it will go and ask the user to choose other backgrounds for green for example or blue we can make a third choice let's say this time red great now let's run the app again and see it in action click that button and you see here now we are getting this alert with the actions for green blue or red so if I hit blue for example then you see the choice is displayed here I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you